Welcome to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage. Today we're going to be having a look at Solana. This is going to be a shorter time frame video. We do have a higher time frame video linked up above, so check that out if you're more interested in that. Okay, so let's get into the charts and see what's going on. Okay, so the primary way that I'm still looking at this move is that this is an A, looking for this B wave, and then looking for this continuation to the upside in a C wave. Now, we have come down pretty close to the 618, but I am expecting a little bit more of a deeper move here to the downside. Now, the way we'd be arguing this is taking place as a W and X and a Y. Now, there are some target levels um, still open here, which would be this 1.618 of this as a of this W wave. What I wouldn't like to see is a push below this level. Now, the way I'm looking at this is A as a diagonal, this is a B, and then looking at this as a C wave. Now, we could also argue that within this, we have this as A, B, C here, this is a flat, and then potentially looking at this as a um, as a five wave move looking to develop from here, where this would be A, B, and then C in this way. Now, if we are looking at the possibility of this being a, just a C wave, the problem we have is we actually already have come down here to this 1618 level. Now, if we are looking to actually break down one more time here, what we need to be careful of is this could be a five wave move from further back here, but this becomes one, this becomes three, and then we'd be looking for an additional fourth and a fifth afterwards. So we need to just be a little bit careful of that fact. But if we continue to break down here, we could see, um, you know, continuation in that way. So at the moment, the way that I'm looking at this internal leg here would actually be looking for the possibility of an extension. We would be saying that within here, what we have is one, two, one, two. And then we're actually looking for that possibility of this still being within this yellow fourth wave here, looking to actually break down from this 1574. Now, if we do actually push back up above this wave one, which would be this 1826, this would invalidate this idea of actually having this as one, two, one, two, and this being a fourth wave, because this fourth wave shouldn't interact with this wave one. However, really, until we actually break back above this high point here of this 2234, I would still be cautious of the fact that within here, you know, we don't have something else going on, uh, like a one, this whole thing becomes a two, and then we look to break down. So really, for more confidence, I'd like to get back above this high to say that we're within that sea wave. As long as we remain in the zone of this 1574, I would be cautious of that possibility of that continuation here, where we could actually see price continue to break to the downside here and we could look for an additional fifth wave so if we do maintain this level what i'd then be looking for is that possibility that price could actually be gravitated towards this 1210 area to this 11 dollar region and then looking for an additional fourth and a fifth which could look to bring us down towards this 1143 to this 1057 area so this would be looking at this as a five wave move to the downside looking to actually complete but like i said you know we need to be a bit cautious here because um, if we're looking, trying to look at this as a W and X and a Y, really, I don't want to see us come lower than this 1618. A, a week through it would be fine, but the problem is the internals are starting to get to that point that is starting to be more likely that it's an impulse. So if we are looking for that possibility of actually turning into an impulse, what we'd be looking at is one of two things where we'd be arguing this is 1, 2, this is 1, 2 here, and we're actually in a bigger third wave. We're looking potentially to target out this 2.618 for this bigger third wave here within these internal counts, looking to possibly move down towards this 1172. Now, if this is the case, and we have this as one, two, this is one, two here. We'd be looking for three, four, five. Then we'd get another fourth and a fifth, which would actually bring us quite close to invalidation of that idea of that bigger, you know, that bigger C wave to the upside. So we need to be careful on this. If we start to break down too deep, we're going to have to watch these fourth waves. If we do get an additional push up, we could actually see a move down if this is only in three waves. So we need to see good impulsive structure to the upside to, um, you know, take those ideas off the table. The alternative that we could argue is that this whole move here is a diagonal where this becomes either an a wave or a wave one and we've come down past this 1618 so we need to be cautious here until we actually cross this point here we can't actually uh, you know this 1875 we can't say that this can't actually develop an additional fourth and a fifth wave even though these internals currently aren't making a lot of sense i'd like to see an additional push to the downside now we could have a corrective structure here you know that's completed in this w x and a y already because we have come down to this 1382 but like i said the internals of this are not very clear so i'm just being a bit uh you know cautious with this one because it is sitting in that typical rejection zone potentially be forming something like a triangle here you know we could actually still look for that break to the downside and then you know look for that continuation down 
But really, as long as we hold this 1033 level, I would still be on the lookout for this possibility of an additional push to the upside where we have this as A, this is B, and then looking for this C wave, which off of our current location would be this 4311. Now, if we do start to break down um, deeper here, we do have this trend line which is sitting here. So this is from all the way back here. This is a very long term trend line. This So, you know, this uh, is going to be quite an important level. If we do see price come back into here, I'd be interested to see how we react. It wouldn't surprise me if we get um if we do actually come down into that level if we don't get a big wick down here you know um looking to trap some people uh we'll have to keep an eye on it and see what happens if that does actually play out but you know as long as we hold this low here we need to just be on the lookout for that possibility that price could actually look to reverse here where we could see um you know this start to move to the upside at the moment we don't have anything that looks too impulsive here but what I'd be on the lookout for is, you know, if we start to break up in a bigger way here and we maintain this low of this 1411, and we start to push up towards this 1618 here at this $20.56, what I would be looking out for then would be the fact that, you know, within here we could actually be starting to extend out here. So it's going to be key here. You know, if we're looking for that bearish, um, for that bearish count, we need to really stay within that wave four area. Um, if we start to break too far above that you know it becomes more likely we're going to see some kind of a corrective move now it could always just be that this is abc and we see a move up to the 1781 and then we look to break to the downside again so we're going to have to just keep an eye on that but really i wouldn't like to see us come that high if we're looking at this as one two one two three four five the problem is this time relationship is starting to get really stretched here treating these two as a similar structure here so you know i just want to see if this is going to look to continue down i'd like to see that starting to roll over fairly soon here you know it is possible this could be a triangle where this is a b c d e something like this and then we look to break down and that would explain why it's taking a long time here um, but really until we get more confirmation i would be still looking for that potential of a little bit more downside to come here Okay, so coming here into the daily CPR, what we can see is that we are currently fighting with the central line area. Now, if we do actually look to find um, support here, potentially price could be gravitated towards this S1 line here at this 1574, this 1607, this 1630, and this 1660. If, however, we start to lose this, I would be keeping an eye out for these targets lower down here, this 1521. We have this. 1499 and we have this 1467 and this 1443 these could be potential zones that we could see price pivot from if we do actually start to lose this zone if we are changing this over now to the weekly what we can see is that we are currently above these weekly cpr lines now since reset we actually did come into these so what i want to see is you know if price manages to maintain above this we could actually see price get gravitated up towards this weekly s1 line at the 1633 we have the weekly s2 at the 1722 and we have this 1833 as the s3 line so that would be actually indicating you know that potentially there's something bigger going on if we start to move up to these levels although i suppose it is still small enough that that could just be a b and c if we do move up here um, it wouldn't wouldn't really invalidate it it would invalidate that idea of that fourth wave but like i said until we start breaking these highs i'd be cautious that we could see continuation if however we start to break to the downside here i would be keeping an eye on these this r1 line at this 1433 the r2 line at this 1321 the r3 line down here towards this 1233 level now if we do start to break down to some of these levels these could tie into you know that fifth wave idea where we're actually looking to have that break to the downside now coming over here and going over onto the monthly what we can see is we're currently sitting between the r3 and the r2 line now this is kind of forming a little bit of a barrier here for us and what i'm on the lookout for is as long as we remain between these levels we could actually still you know see price just move around in here and this would tie into that idea of possibly being in a fourth and then looking to actually have a rejection and that continuation to the downside although if we do manage to continue to push up here and find support back above this r2 line here which is the 1640 what we could see is price could actually get gravitated to the upside here where we see this r1 line actually come into play towards this 1861 and then you know if we start to form a bigger impulsive structure here we could even come back and retest these central lines between this 21 and this 2080 we have the s1 at this 2316 the s2 at this 25 
47 and the S3 at this 2769. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on those levels and see how price reacts here. So like I said, until we actually break back above this high, this move to the downside really does not look completed. Okay, so I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please smash the like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video. And leave us some feedback down below. Also in the description, you'll find a link to the Discord. Come check it out. It's free to join. Everyone have a great day. See you in the next one. Take care.